Bienvenidos and welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. Today we're going to grab a handful of the most basic ingredients and create a classic Spanish recipe that's not only super easy to make, but it's the kind of food that's going to make you feel like a million bucks. We're talking Spanish tail cod with chickpeas. This is known as bacalao con tomate garbanzos. And let me tell you, this dish is filled with so many great flavors. It truly is effortless to put together where there's no tricky techniques or special equipment needed. And the best part, it's all done in just 30 minutes. Folks serve this dish next to a crunchy baguette and of course a bottle of Spanish wine. More specifically from the region of Rivera del Duero, you're going to have yourself the best moment of your day. Real quick before we start, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Phil Segarra, David Machado, Tommy Williams, Jim Schaller, and Barbara Eastman. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. All right, let's just dive right into this. I'm going to heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in a generous two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 35 milliliters. While the oil is heating, I'm gonna roughly chop one medium sized onion, thinly slice six cloves of garlic, and cut one red bell pepper into thin strips. Then we'll add the chopped vegetables into the hot fry pan. and we'll mix them around, that way they're all coated in the olive oil. And since we cut the vegetables into larger pieces, you don't have to mix this around continuously, but do get under every minute or so, that way everything evenly sautés. While the veggies are cooking, let's get the rest of our ingredients ready. I'm gonna drain a can of chickpeas into a colander and rinse the chickpeas under some water. The size of the can that I'm using is 15 and a half ounces, which is 440 grams. Then we'll finely grate four fresh tomatoes to end up with one cup of tomato sauce, which is 240 grams. You can also use canned tomato sauce here, or even pasata if you like. And for the final ingredient, we'll add in three cod fillets over some paper towels and pat them completely dry. The size of the fillets that I'm using are seven ounces, which is 200 grams each. And I am using cod here that are about frozen and thawed out, but you can also use the fresh stuff here, as well as any other type of firm white fish. Then we'll season the cod with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And you want to make sure to do this on both sides. And then cut each fillet into two evenly sized pieces for a total of six pieces of cod. All right, let's move back to the fry pan. After five to six minutes and the vegetables are lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is two and a half grams and half a teaspoon of ground cumin, which is one and a half grams. And we'll give it a quick mix, that way those spices are well mixed into the vegetables. As always, the Spanish paprika I'm using is from Kiva, link where you can get some in the description box below, and if you buy it from that link, you also get 25% off your order. Then we'll add in the one cup of tomato sauce, turn it up to a high heat, and give it a gentle mix, and then simmer it for a few minutes. After about five minutes, and the tomato sauce has slightly thickened, we'll add in our drained chickpeas, along with half a cup of dry white wine, which is 120 milliliters. If wine is not your thing, you can substitute it for two tablespoons of white wine vinegar, which is 30 milliliters. And season with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a mix until it's well mixed together and then simmer it for a few minutes. After about three minutes and the alcohol has been cooked off in the wine, we'll add in the pieces of cod. And you want to make sure they're on a single layer and evenly spaced out. And then we'll gently flip each piece of cod, then we'll fully coat it in all that goodness. And then place the lid on the pan and lower the fire to a low medium heat and simmer this between four to five minutes or until those pieces of cod are perfectly cooked through. After four to five minutes and the pieces of fish are perfectly cooked through, this dish is ready to go. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat. And you can serve this directly out of the pan or transfer into some serving dishes. Either way, make sure to garnish with some slices of lemon and some chopped fresh parsley. Check it out, bacalao con tomate garbanzos, Spanish style car with chickpeas, restaurant quality presentation, heart healthy ingredients, and all done in just 30 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out.
Once again, folks, bacalao con tomate y garbantos. This I am so excited to try because it smells so good in here. Here we go. That truly is what Honest Home Cooking is all about. As we got such basic ingredients, so we got so much goodness out of this. And for me, the real winner, just 30 minutes to put together, yet the flavors feel like they've been simming for hours. Folks, give this a try at home. Once again, extra crunchy baguette and a bottle of Spanish wine from the region of Ribera del Duero. You're going to have yourself the best moment of your day. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That we can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.